Madina Landsberg was a 31-year-old former girls' high student who was married to Dexter Landsberg, a 36-year-old, and they lived in the UK. Dexter Landsberg was a church pastor, and in 2014, he decided to move out of their marital home and began staying with another woman in Milton Keynes, Buckinghamshire. He had a history of violence and had been arrested for assaulting his wife many times, and she took a restraining order against him, banning him from visiting her. Despite her fears and pleas for help, he was released on bail. Medina then reached out to the authorities several times, fearing for her safety, but the system that was supposed to protect her failed. On the day of the murder, he visited Medina at the house she shared with her children. Nobody knows exactly what happened, but they suspect that she asked him to leave and he got violent, beat her up severely, and strangled her to death. After he strangled her, he then went to his kid's school, picked them up, and dropped them home, telling them that their mother was sleeping inside. He then drove off, leaving the kids on the door. The kids went into their mom's room and saw their mother lying dead on the ground, showing signs of struggle. The kids were shocked and then called the police and their relatives. It was obviously a crime of passion because he had made a big mistake. He had left his mobile phone inside the house, so he was the main suspect when the police arrived at the crime scene. The police failed to locate him in the next 24 hours, and they knew that he was the one responsible. He was only arrested when the police saw him sleeping in his car at a certain car park. He initially denied the murder, but the evidence was overwhelming and in court he admitted to the crime, pleading guilty to the murder of his wife. The case brought to light the failures of responding to domestic violence and the dire consequences of not heeding to warnings from those at risk. Dexter was given a life sentence with a minimum term of 13 and a half years after admitting to the murder. The case highlighted serious issues regarding domestic violence and the response of law enforcement to such situations. Madina had previously reported domestic violence to the police and Dexter had been arrested months before her death. Madina's story is not just a tale of crime. It's a narrative that compels us to look deeper into societal issues that allow such tragedies to continue. It is a documentary of real life, real loss, and a real need to change. May her soul continue to rest in peace.